How to understand the mind of man, interpreting what he writes by hand. If meaning's the reason for a symbol to stand, then signs are just brands, but we're fixated by signs, infiltrated by undefined, regurgitated undivided lines. Like envelopes with tight seals, or empty shells with the right appeal, approximating bright ideals, divine to define what's real. But when you judge a book by the cover, you cover all of the mystery that its history covered, and all of the wisdom in it you'll never discover. What's the meaning of meaning? Is it just definitions? Is it just about semantics and cold repetitions? What words really mean? Any individual sign could be arbitrary, and meaning has to be understood as implication for action. To understand mathematics, we act on habit, with proper mechanics on the fabric of reason. Inside a relation, no meaning in any sign that's left in isolation. The miracle number. It's a bottomless pit to understand anything in isolation. This goes for math, philosophy, spirituality, and certainly science. And here lies the crux of our message. The word energy and matter have a long family tree, but materialism has grown to colonize half of its interpretations. Energy has a history, looking back at the victory of mind's eye and divine sight to see the symmetries of timeline stability, probabilities, and ability to cause instability. Look what they ordered a hoarder for the disorder to porter along the border of chaos beneath the order. Call it entropy, uncertainty, or the gap between chance and absurdity. If the universe makes sense in space, it has to make sense to pay rent for its place. The cost of order is to increase chaos. Even God's gotta calculate the payoff. Thermodynamics. God, why did you violate your own laws of physics? You have violated the second law of thermodynamics. Even you can't do that. If you did do it, I will never trust you again. The second law? The second law of thermodynamics is one of the most fundamental logical laws of physics. I don't believe you. What comes next will be an experiment of the Terminalia, as a first attempt to use metaphor and story to understand some of the deeper concepts of reality. The ancient Babylonians believed the sun god Marduk defeated the serpent goddess of chaos, and out of her decaying body, Marduk created the world. Disorder as the price for order, thermodynamics. All of the order and heat in the universe must be paid for by a larger disorder and cooling. Temperature tells us our profits due to disorder, and for this reason, boiling is only spontaneous at high temperatures because the high disorder profits can pay for the cost of heating. Temperature also tells us the cost of generating order. Therefore, freezing is spontaneous at low temperatures because of the low cost of order paid for by the cooling. In this way, all of the complexity in the universe is accounted for by a shedding of heat and disorder which permeates the cosmos. As we see, Metaphors can be powerful guides, sometimes taking tens of thousands of years to truly unpack. And it is there where we'll find the limits of language. <laughs>